Hey there, I'm going to look at creating an instructions file to work with my vibe coding. So right now I'm in Visual Studio Code. I've got my Copilot edits window open. I'm just going to toggle that so you can see down here I've chosen Copilot edits to display that window. In the main window here I've got a readme file that I've just created. You can see I asked for the readme to be created and it actually elaborated on what I was asking so that's really cool to see that so you can actually see how it's interpreting your 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 response so copilot instructions uh, in in this particular case all we have is one file so there's not much going on now normally um, copilot can determine from context it might actually find like a linting file for your JavaScript or some more information about how you want your project to work in this case, we don't have any. I've actually just generated that readme. So we can actually use the Copilot instructions to actually provide a little bit more detail for Copilot. So to make it work on the Copilot instructions file, I'm just going to drag it across down the bottom here. I'm going to remove these other files and then I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to get my copy paste going. So copy paste from over here. I'm going to populate the Copilot instructions with JavaScript best practices. Cool. So it's actually just added a bunch of best practices. But how do we know that's working? What we can do is add a few more instructions. So these are some that I prepared earlier. And now when I run a command, such as uh, making sure that the page is compliant, now we can see the response. It actually says hello. So this is like a debugging message for your Copilot instructions. So you can see here, I've actually said before each response, say hello. So this is letting me know that the hello command is being, um, that the instructions are being accessed and we can see here also specify which rule we're applying it's actually applying the instructions to make the website um, WCAG compliant now I created this page in dark mode so let's see if we flick over and get a bit of a before shot so that's what it looks like before the um, edits have been applied so popping back now to the code and we can see that it's just finished and that's really cool. It's updated the um, README as well. So what I'm going to do is keep all the changes. When I've been playing around a lot with um, vibe coding, I find it's really useful to actually have log the, the log, log the commands. So here, it's actually made some changes in the um, HTML and CSS sections. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, cool. So over here on the right, it's actually changed that to yellow, so a slightly different color. So this is using the instructions file in um, Visual Studio Copilot. 